What's up, Ichu? For today's video, this is going to be our guide how to use Samurott Hisawain in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun me movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me do, let me know about in the comment section and let's get into it. So, Samurott Hisawain has got a very, very interesting move and some stats and some pretty cool typing. So, firstly, looking at its stats, we've got 108 base and attack, 100 special attack, which means it can run special or mixed, and we've got 85 base in speed, which is which is all right. Uh, 90 in health, and yeah, the others are just sort of like average. Uh, special defense isn't really all that good. So, let's have a look at its abilities to get. We got torrent, obviously, and sharpness. So sharpness is going to be your ability you'll be using virtually all of the time. Uh, the Pokemon slicing moves are going to have their power multiplied by 1.5 times. Now, Samrock gets a cool move called Ceaseless Edge. Of course, this is going to be boosted by sharpness too. So it's a dark move, uh, 65 base power, and it sets a layer of spikes on the field every time you use it. So you can just hit with this move and put spikes on the field, which is very, very good, especially because it has a sharpness boost on top of it too. So the other moves I've given this are Aqua Jet, I've got Sacred Sword and Razor Shell. Now, all these moves here get, except Aqua Jet, of course, uh, get boosted by sharpness. And with Razor Shell, which makes it so good with this, it gets boosted by sharpness plus it also has a 50% chance to lower the target's defense by one. And that's actually really good, especially when you're using like choice get, like sets like Scarf or Band or whatever. And you're coming across someone who's trying to stall you and those sort of things. So you keep hitting them continually and you eventually are going to get a defense shot, which is quite good. Now, I see this running as a viable choice band or choice scarf set. There are a couple of moves you could probably change on this, but it's kind of like that five to six move slot syndrome. So it's sort of like what you've got on your team for coverage reasons. Uh, the Terra type I've given it is Water. You could go Water or Dark. I believe that would go pretty nicely on the Choice Band set because you're trying to get as much damage as possible. So the thing I like about Water is, say, if you've got a really speedy opponent and they've got a lot of stat boosts up, they're a very, very big threat, you can go for a Terra Water boosted Aqua Jet and uh, you know, that's going to make up for its low base power. Now, the EV spread, I've given it max stack and max speed, Jolly Nature. Um, it definitely does need Jolly Nature because it's not very fast. And yeah, with that uh, speed investment, you're going to be able to get a reasonable chance of uh, you know getting yourself a you know, at least some sort of mid uh, or late game sweep there with Choice Scarf or Choice Spam. Now, I was also thinking some other Terra options. You might be able to go for ground here. Uh, if you're expecting any electric type moves, there's like more gimmicky things like ghosts if you're worried about fighting. And you know, you, there's quite a few different ones you can actually do here, but I'd probably be going with water or dark mainly. They seem to be, um, after trying it a fair bit, these ones seem to be the most reliable. Outside of like little surprise terrors and stuff like that. Now, the next one I'm going to be looking at here is a sword dance set. So it can run a reasonable, viable sword dance set. The only thing is with its speed stat, it may not be able to get sword dance up first. Um, if it does get outsped, then you're most likely going to get two shotted. So you might consider having a Pokemon with sticky web on your team uh, to get around any of those speedier Pokemon. But let's have a look at it anyway. Uh, we've got Black Glass as the item, which is pretty cool because that gives a boost on Dark type moves by 1.2 times power. And, you know, if you're using stuff like Sucker Punch or Ceaseless Edge, uh, it gives them a nice boost on top of that good base power already. So it does get Sucker Punch, which is a great priority move, and Stark as well, which is nice. Uh, Sword Dance boosting the attack. We've got Aqua Cutter. Look, you've got the choice between Aqua Cutter or Razor Shell. Aqua Cutter has a crit chance, and Razor Shell has got five more base power, basically. So it's 70 versus 75. So mostly I'm thinking Razor Shell is going to be better... Uh, a lot of the time, unless you're going like a full critting set on Samrock, which would be, you know, better than Razor Shell uh, overall. Uh, the other move I gave is Sacred Sword, just for sharpness boost and, you know, coverage reasons uh, and stuff like that. So that's going to be nice as a Sword Dance Sweeper. Now you could 
you could even opt for like Aqua Jet here, but the thing is, if you, if you just do Aqua Jet over like Razor Shell and stuff like that, you are going to lose out on a lot of base power if you are worried about a speed. So I'd probably keep Sucker Punch on there and then like a water move like Razor Shell. And yeah, so this seems to be like a reasonably good sword dancing set and good coverage type moves. Um, I'm going to give this one Terra Dark because we've already got Black Glasses and Sucker Punch Terra Dark is going to do some good damage. And if you've got, instead of Sucker Punch, you could have Ceaseless Edge as well. Like, that's still going to be, you know, doing some nice damage there. And especially with Terra, Terra Dark and Sharpness and Black Glasses, it's all going to be, like, stacking nicely. I kind of just like the niche of putting Sucker Punch on there. You could double it up with both of those moves, but I don't know. I, I feel like you probably just need one or the other. The, otherwise, you're making uh, you're making the coverage on Samurai a little bit too small. Uh, another item you could run instead of that, you could go Lumbery for a physical attacker. That's always very handy. Uh, you could go Life Orb as well. That way, you're going to get a boost on all of your moves then and, you know, instead of just the dark ones. But I feel like you're going to be using that a lot. So I feel like black glasses could be quite a fun item to use and uh, yeah, pretty decent too. Uh, so there's your sword dancing set. Now, once again, uh, for doubles as well, I see this choice band set working, whether you're playing singles or doubles, VGC or whatever like that. I see this choice band or choice scarf set definitely being uh, viable. I've got a couple. I've, I've got like uh, some more double suggestions at the end there um, I come up with. But uh, yeah, I can see this one absolutely working for sure. Now, let's have a look at uh, another variant. So, I feel like Samrock can run a viable Assault Vest set. Now, with 65 base and special events, it's going to get hit really, really hard. So, having Assault Vest in there and extra EVs and health is going to like allow it to take those moves a lot better and uh, you know punish back up. So, I've given this one max attack and max, uh, max health EVs out of a nature this time. We're not going to be worrying about speed at all. Uh, I've got Caesar's Edge, of course. It works great. We're going to put Spy on the field. Razor Shell is always very good too. Sacred Sword. And I've given this one Terra Blast Go. So I think I just left on there because it can run like so many different things. You could also, you could have Terra Blast. Terra Blast Grass would be okay too. I was thinking of just some other like counters and stuff like opposing water type Pokemon that would be kind of nice for. Um, another one is obviously Ground there for any... Electric moves. Once again, it's all what you've got on your team and what counters you can get around for sure. Um, you could also go another one you could do. You could also pop on Aqua Jet there too and do Terra Water. That way your bulky Samrod has got a hard hitting Aqua Jet too and Terra Water. That's that's another option you could run for that. There's a lot of other different moves. Um, another move you could actually run too on there is Knockoff. Um, knockoff isn't all that bad. I know we've already got Seeks' Edge, but Knockoff is still a very powerful move uh, as well. You know, getting rid of items and uh, 1.5 extra damage is always nice too. But that's just another option there if you don't want to run Seeks' Edge. I mean, Seeks' Edge is sort of like Samurai Hisuane's bread and butter though. So I probably wouldn't not be running that. Um, like on all your physical sets, that's something like a you know a, a staple you would run. Uh, another one you got is drill run. This is sort of like more going into gimmicky stuff or like uh, you know electric type Pokemon. But you could do that. You could maybe do that with like uh, Terra Ground, and that way you wouldn't have that uh, accuracy problem there. So yeah, you could go with that. Uh, Terra Poison could be another one too. You could go for Terra Poison. This would be quite good uh, for Fairy Pokemon. And you could sponge those fighting moves too. So that's another good one and a nice surprise. So I quite like Terra Poison on that. And if any ground types come out, well, you can hit them with a Razor Shell, can't you? So that actually works out really nice. I quite like Terra Poison a lot on Sam right here. So I uh, now I'm thinking about it. Now, have a look at a, a, its next set I've got here. I've got so many sets for this, actually. Um, I've got Samurai Hisuane as a Rest Sleep Talk set. And I, I feel it can run a really, really good uh, Rest Sleep Talk set. Now, I've sort of got this one as Max Health and Max Special Defense here. And I've got 236 in Special Defense. And I've got 20 EVs in Speed. Now, the reason I've done this, um, a Pokemon that can really counter this is um, Great Tusk. And, uh, yeah, Great Tusk can completely demolish this if it isn't running any... It's like if it's running, like, bulk, like, it's just, like, a Stealth Rock, uh, bulky or tanky set, and it doesn't have any speed either at all. This can actually outspeed it with this investment. If it's running max speed, then you're going to get wrecked anyway. But I just thought I'd mention that if you, uh, you know, want to run something a little bit different there and make this, uh, 
you know, outspeed some uh, slower counter Pokemon. So this set has got Terra Water. We've got Ceases Edge, which is great, and Razor Cell. Razor Cell works very, very nicely on a Rest Sleep Talk Pokemon. Because while you're doing Rest and Sleep Talk or going for Sleep Talk, you can drop the opponent's defense. You know, and then you can hit harder with Razor Cell on the next turn. And you're still setting up spikes and doing damage too. Um, I've got leftovers on this. And I'll, I'll give that sharpness, of course. But yeah, I think this would definitely serve... As a nice, bulky uh, special defensive wall, which is good. Or just a tank, a uh, health tank as well. And spreading uh, spikes and dropping the opponent's uh, defensive rage shell. And still doing some good damage as well. With that sharpness boost, uh, even with no EVs, it's still doing like a nice you know, chunk of damage there. I'll just put the last four into attack. But yeah, you could give that one a go. Another option for sure. Water or dark. Oh no, I, I might be inclined to keep water on this because you could boost up Raze Shell and you know drop the defense. It's quite a unique move, Raze Shell, and with sharpness, uh, that's uh, definitely stacks on it nicely. Next one, I think you could run as like a mix set. Uh, it's not like 100 base special attack is probably not to be overlooked. So this one's a little bit more gimmicky, as you can see. So we've got a mix critting set. So I've got Scope Lens as the item. Uh, we've got Hydro Pump, which is a nice, powerful water type move. And we've got Focus Energy. So with Focus Energy and Scope Lens, that's going to make it critting 100% of the time. We've got Ceaseless Edge, which is going to be you know, spread and butter. And Air Sash also gets a, uh, a boost there from Sharpness, which is, uh, you know, it's one of like the few special moves, or like the only one that gets like a, a boost, which is really, really cool. Which gives you a little bit of a more of a, uh, um, a niche hitting like fighting type Pokemon and grass type Pokemon, which is... Uh, you know, uh, some good counters for it. And I think that'd be pretty cool. And you've also got a flinching chance too. And, you know, you've got that 100% crit. So that could be very, very handy. A little bit of a surprise. I know it's a little bit off the meta, but I think this has some pretty cool potential at being a mix attacker. Or even if you don't make it a crit, uh, a crit set, I think a mix attacker, it's got some nice potential. You could even run like... You know, three, say if you had the main, main three attacking moves and you know, pop on Hydro Pump, then that could give you some good coverage against some more defensive Pokemon like Great Tusk, for example. Let's have a look at this double set here. I did already say that the Band and Scar set could definitely work there. But let's have a look at this one. This is kind of like like off meta as well, but it actually gets quite a few good uh, uh, spread moves here. So we've got our Snarl, which is quite nice there. So we've got the Throat Spray Snarl. We've got Surf as well. So you could couple that with a Water Absorb Pokemon or Storm Drain. We've got Blizzard Air and we've also got Snowscape. So I was thinking you could go for this cool Terra Ice set with Snowscape and then use Blizzard. And you know, if you get a chance to use Snarl, you could boost up your special attack at the same time. I know that Terra Ice isn't the greatest Terra out there because it's still going to be weak to fighting, but... Um, I still think it could be fun to use it. So we got max special attack and max speed tip of nature. And, you know, that, that, those blizzards with that snowscape, that'll give it extra bulk in defense. And those blizzards will be no joke. It'll be hitting pretty hard for sure. And so that's a little bit of a doubles uh, snow set. Maybe more suited on a snow team. So you don't have to set the snipe yourself. Like maybe a bomber so um, would be good there. So you could just straight go for uh, snarl and then terra ice after that. So that's an option you could definitely go for. Now, as for counters uh, for this Pokemon, I'm just going to delete a couple of sets. I see Dondozo as being a very good counter. Dondozo is such a good counter for so many things, but it's just so tanky, basically. That, that's the main thing about it. Um, it's water moves are going to do nothing. It, it's not going to do a lot of damage to Dondozo. Another one I see is Great Tusk. Like, these are Pokemon, like, whatever meta you're playing in, I, I think these, these Pokemon are very, very problematic. Uh, especially, this is what I was talking about before on this Rest Sleep Talk set. If you were to run, like, well, I think I was going to put like 10 in there. Yeah, I was going to put like 10 EVs in, in, in speed. So, what do we got here? 208. We probably need a little bit more than that. So, like, I think... No, sorry. I put 20 in there. My apologies. I put uh, I put 20 in there. So, I had 211, which actually outspeeds Great Tusk. If it doesn't have any... Like, say if they're running something like this. Or this. You know, those style of sets. 
You know, these stylists, any sort of uh, bulky EV spreads there with no speed EVs, um, that would allow this rest to sleep tall one to get around. So that, that's what I was talking about. But anyway, I uh, see Don Dozer and Great Tusk as, uh, you know, very, very counter-style Pokemon. And just just in general with uh, Samurai and Hisuane, uh, just overlooking uh, or looking at a stats here, we got its special defense is definitely a big problem. And its speed stat... Yeah, it, it's it's definitely it's not in my opinion it's not quite fast enough. Um, it's it's going to be countered a lot there. It does have priority moves, but they're very weak. You know, Aqua Jet is kind of weak, and Sucker Punch is okay, but Sucker Punch can be played around a lot too. It's not a uh, you know definitely not a sure thing. But I thought I mentioned these ones as sort of its uh, best counters. Let's have a look at some teammates here. Uh, so we're 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 thinking like Gold Dingo wouldn't be bad. That'll be okay. We got that ghost type there and ghost and steel. That'd be okay. Um, and then we we can sort of easily swap them in. So, you know, Samurai can swap into like the, the fire moves and the ghost moves coming at our gold dango. And uh, conversely, this could swap into like you know, the fighting moves. So that's that could be a good uh, sort of like teammate there. Um, any, let's have a look at some ground Pokemon. What do we got here? Ground types. So, I mean, Clodzai could be okay. That, that that could be not a bad Pokemon there. I'd say that would be quite good, actually, because uh, we got the Dark and Water, so that can sponge any Electric-type moves coming your way, and we also got the Fighting moves coming your way, too, so that's kind of nice, and, and Grass moves. So I'd say Clodzai is an excellent sort of uh, teammate for this, especially if you want to run, like, Water Absorb. That would be, like, really good sort of, like, partner there. Cool. All right, so there's a couple of teammates and counters and stuff like that. Let's have a look at um, let's have a look at some more move sets on Samurai. I really feel like this can do like a let's do some fun like critty here. So I want to make Aqua Cutter. We got Drill Run. I want to do like the full on critting set here. See if we can make like a hundred percent crit, but a physical critting set. So this is going to be max attack and max speed, jolly nature, of course. So that's good. I don't know if we've got any dark moves that are going to crit, though. Um, what do we got here? So actually, we don't even need uh, we don't even need scope lens because they're already at max. So we'll give that another item. Um, so focus energy gives two stages, and these are going to give the last. So it's going to be 100%. I mean, we could just whack on... We could just whack on Caesar's Edge there, too. But I was just having a look at this any Oh, Night Slash! Okay. Yo, okay, this is cool. So, we've got, like, this complete critting set, which is really, really interesting. We could give it sharpness as well. And, yeah, so that, that gives it some... That gives it a pretty good chance of doing some nice damage. As for item, you could even... Uh, you could give it... Lumberry could work on there. That'd be a nice kind of strategy. You could give it citrus berry. Hmm. As for uh, as for the moves, I'm still thinking. I'm gonna go terra ground on this. That'll be cool. So terra ground, and then we we can get around those electric moves. That'll be that'll be cool. So terra ground, uh, drill run. Now the only thing about drill run is it is 95, but there's no point running wide lens. Maybe Heavy Duty Boots or Lumberry or Life Orb. Something like that uh, to really get some extra damage. That, that's going to do a fair bit of damage, especially like 100% critting um, for sure. So the Life Orb gives it a little bit more base power and sharpness as well. So that's a full-on critting uh, option there for Samurai. I think this is quite a good poke. It's, it's definitely not overpowered, that's for sure. But it's definitely not, not like bad, you know. It's, it's got some good options. Let's have a look at the status moves. So, uh, we got the tech return. On oh, it gets encore. That's not too bad. You might be able to make some sort of like bulky Caesar's Edge encore set as a lead. You might be able to encore the opponent into like using Stealth Rock or something like that, or you know, Iron Defense Garganacle or something. Uh, it also gets Taunt too. I don't know whether it's going to be fast enough to be a really, really good uh, Taunt Pokemon. Uh, nothing super amazing there. It gets soak, which is interesting, but uh, nothing super duper amazing. Let's have a look at all its physical moves here. See if I can come up with uh, any anything else. It gets avalanche, but I'm, I mean, you might be able to put avalanche onto this assault vest set. Uh, I think it's just better moves though than uh, avalanche. 
Okay, let me go back to its physical moves here. We've got Liquidation. I mean, there's no point running that. You've got Raze Shell. You've got Raze Shell or Aqua Cutter. The great thing about Samurott, it gets a lot of moves which are going to work for the Sharpness ability, which is great, you know? So it's got a big variety of moves. A lot of Pokemon... Uh, quite a few Pokemon have abilities, but they don't have any moves that, or many moves that can work with it. Well, X Scissors is another one too. It's really only good for like Psychic or Grass or Dark, you know. So you're not really getting lots and lots of extra coverage there. Um, we got oh, it gets Fury Cutter. That's pretty cool. And you got oh, we got Smart Strike too. And I guess that would be uh, your only way of aiming a uh, a white tier fairies outside of like Terra Terra Steel, but. I wouldn't go Terra Steel anyway. Speaking of fairies, I still think that Assault Vest set with Poison is the... Like, that's a great fairy counter for that, for sure. Let's have a look at its special moves here. I think this can run a good choice spec set. I want to do that now, because it, it, it will be hard to do that. Let's, let's just have a, a little uh, look at that. So, we got choice specs. Definitely want to put Hydro Pop on there. Um, I mean, Air Slash is boosted by Sharpness. We also got Torrent, too. We could still get Sharpness for Air Slash. That, that's fair. Uh, Ice Beam. Uh, you could run Blizzard if you got, like, uh, Snow going. And we've also... We've got Dark Pulse. So you could definitely run that. So you, I, I don't see this working as... I'd either go Timid, Max Special Attack, and Max Speed. Or you could even go, like, a real tanky set. Like, Modest Nature. And uh, it's got some reasonable bulk to it. Not so much on the special side, though. That's the only bad thing. Or you could even go Assault Vest on this. So you could have an Assault Vest special variant, too. Kind of like the physical one I already came up with before. So, yeah. Uh, I, that's some pretty nice sets there for uh, Samrock. We've gone over a few memes. Uh, we did some singles. We talked about some doubles there. Uh, we went over some counters. We went over some teammates. Well, I, I think that pretty much covers Samurai. So, some final thoughts on this Pokemon. Obviously, Caesar's Edge is its bread and butter. So, you pretty much want to use that on every set. And, you know, Sharpness is a very, very good ability too. Is it super overpowered? No, it absolutely isn't. Is it terrible? No, it's not. It's quite good. I just feel like it's got a, a kind of a bad speed bracket there. And it's just like a fast-paced kind of you know, game at the moment with all the um, speedy Pokemon, but I still think it could be quite a good choice band choice. Scarfuser, there is definitely some potential for Sword Dance, and you might be able to get something out of these Rest Sleep Talk sets and a bit of a surprise, maybe a mix set or a special set. That's about it for Samurai. I hope you enjoyed today's guide. If it helped, if you enjoyed it, press that like button, people. I'll be back tomorrow with some more theme teams, and I've got some, I think I've got some more guides. Well, we've got guides coming virtually every day for a while there, so that's about it. Peace out.